Hi guys, welcome back to Rough Nuts. I'm Corey, that's Laurie, that's Fleur. Uh, this episode we've decided to do a cheeky overnighter down to Logbrook Dam. Haven't been down here in a little while. So yeah, just thought we'd come hunt some trout, see what it was about, enjoy the sun, and have some fun. Apparently we're rhyming as well. But anyway, better shut up and get into it. Can you take this so I can reel in? Just switched up to a Scout 45. Wow, I'll show ya. There she is, I'll get out of the sun, maybe that'll help. Okay, we're into it. Okay, so we've had um, quite a few, just follow us, we've come down into the reeds. Um, just switched from a Alco TB55, again I'm hoping to get something on that. Brand new lure from Halco and stuff. I just put on the good old Scout 45 from Razor Edge though, and we've got this nice little rainbow to get us on the board. It's not looking like it's sized, so I'll probably just give it a kiss and release. All right, we'll try again. Yeah, I've just had a big one follow it. Oh really? Yeah. What do you want? On the grubson, he's got, he's back again. Mm. Round two he came back in as well. What? Round two he came through. Try again. And there it is. Ooh, it's getting in the sun. Plenty of glitter, plenty, plenty of shine. Very weedless, because again, that's what I had around. Alright, maybe he switched up his angle a little. There's a couple of big rocks under the water, and obviously plenty of submerged trees around. And that's where we're hunting. Like Laurie's going bush bashing. Hey! <laughs> on the lure hunt fair enough Flair, come on man let's be cool so we had a few big follows there uh, coming out of some bushes over there we were over there it's a very technical um, navigation system I run here um, basically just going to change the angle I think I, I hooked it on the drop but it didn't stay on in classic fashion so just change the angle of the dangle and yeah see if we get a few more follows out of this section here
Okay gang, so we had a couple of hookups on some decent sized trout, but didn't actually land any, so it doesn't count. Um, apart from that one little one, but you know, we're not gonna count that. Time to have a bit of lunch, recharge, probably chuck a sneaky bait line out, see if they want a bit of lunch as well, and then uh, it'll be into the second innings. All right. Bite and a brew, we're back out for innings number two, sticking with the rhyming theme this time. Uh, we've switched up Pat and Oster rigs with uh, a bit of uh, bait on them, good old corn and some artificial baits. Slur's already psyched to get into it, so let's not waste any time. We wait. Back to the Grubson. We just got um, a bobber out there, one out there. We just had a bloody big fish follow this, so swim off in that direction. So hopefully, it'll get interested again. You never know your luck. Nothing. Um, they seem to be going for flashy things. They haven't taken anything yet, so we're going this gold Halco Scorp. Well, Lauren's just uh, switching up to the Grubson. Bloodworm's got a bit of shine to it, so we'll see. Hopefully we get some takers, because there's some big fish here. And apparently a very big bushfire nearby as well. drifting around now it's pretty smoky and must be a pretty big bushfire somewhere but yeah on we push seem to have hooked a little trout well it's been a long day we haven't had too much success oh there he is a little bit of a waking up towards the boat all right chill out Again, this guy's only a little fella, so I'm feeling confident I could get him in the boat. But at the same time, I know they're pretty precious. So, oh, that's not good, mate. Don't do that. Ooh. Maybe I will let him just because I sort myself out here. Okay, so Whew. bear with me. Oh, okay, right, so that's on a little brown trout pattern RMG scorpion just trawling back up to get back into position and well that's another small one so we'll put that one back but um yeah good little fun right off he goes Right, so that's pretty much stumps for the uh, efforts there. 
a couple of small ones, nothing too big. We're on to the uh, cheese and crackers part of the evening. Would have been a fish dinner if we'd caught fish. Anyway, until then, just gonna soak it in. Have a good one. Jumped out of the water. Yep, far out. Oh, this is the wind. Stay in the water. Stay in the water, please. This is how I lost a couple yesterday. With oh, wow, he's got a lot of fight. Get out of the reeds. Get out of the reeds. Alright guys, I'm going to shoot this one from down low because there is a packet of wind around that may still may still affect it a little bit, but uh, yeah, basically been out here, classic Laurie's Lion morning flick, um, just been chucking a couple of divers and things like that, put a deep diver on, sort of a rainbow trout pattern, and then had one of his amigos come in and look for a spot of wreck. So, Bear with me, the old fish, unhook, measure, film, everything. It's kind of tricky to do. See if we can get it done. All right. Okay, so here we are. Let's have a look at this. Getting right up here. Measuring in at 31, 32, I reckon. 32 is a tail. It's tipping out. So uh, he's a keepable one. I haven't had trout in a little while, so I'll probably put him in the stringer and then see what else is out there. Okay. Someone with me at the moment. A yeah, little one. Okay, come on. Chill. Alright, we might just go for the old lifteroo into the boat. Lovely. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Alright. Let's get a little bit sorted here. Smelling ice up in blue. <laughs> Alright. We're just flicking a different spot here off the front of the camp. Um and this little bow take it. It's actually missing an eye on the other side, so what are the chances of one thing he spies is no good for him? Um, go down and hook him and then give him a quick measure and get him back. Alright, so I've decided against measuring. He's well under 30, but these guys can be pretty precious if you get him out of the water too long, and I don't know how much fight this guy's got left, so I'll just quickly show you that. He's missing an eye, he's healed it up, he's got one on this side. But now I'll we'll just see if he wants to um, swim off on his own volition soon. There he goes. 
Okay, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, cheeky overnighter down to Logue Brook, aka Lake Brockman. Managed a couple of reasonable sized trout, only ended up keeping one for a feed. Had a couple big ones, lost those couple big ones. Still a bit of fun out there on the water. All in all, good trip. I got uh, no regrets. <laughs> Uh, if you got any pro tips or hints on, you know, we were switching up, we were throwing hard bodies, soft bodies, uh, hard bodies with soft legs, soft legs, hard bodies, hard heads, hards, everything, spinners, shinies, dulls, whatever. If you got a tip, throw it to us in the comments. If not, do all that usual stuff, uh, like, subscribe, and then hit the notifications. And then, yeah, we'll see you out there next time.